neighborhood. He began to cry out, God, I know you're able. God, I know you will. He said on the seventh day, he got a phone call and the person who called him said, I want to buy all your stuff. I want to give you all the money back. I want to pay you off all of your debt. $250,000. Let me tell you right now, God said as you praise me, I'll open up the windows of heaven over you and I'll pour out a blessing upon you that no devil can stop. Hallelujah. Well, somebody shout amen in this place. Will you give him praise one more time in this place? And here's what I love the most about it, of all of it. God said, as he is, we are in this earth. That's what he said. Is that not right? They had crucified him. It's day one. Listen to this preacher. I'm going somewhere. You all better open. Listen, if you don't open your hearts to God today, it's not my fault. It's your fault. It's day one. And Satan comes to death and says, Death, you still got him? I got him. I got him. Hallelujah. He's mine. I've got him. The second day, Satan comes to death and says, Death, <laughs> come on with somebody. I said, Do you still have him? You still have him? Death says, Satan, I've got him. He's still here. Don't you know the Scripture? Don't you know where I'm going? He said, after two days, I'll revive you, but on the third day. Come on, somebody, will you help me preach on the third day? Satan says, what's that disturbance? What am I hearing in death? I say, he said, no, he's, a, he's up. He's loose, hallelujah. And he's running free. And he's on his way to come to you. He's on his way. He told me to tell you that he's on his way to come right now to get you, devil. To get what belongs to him, amen. And on the third day, he's going to raise you up. And I want to tell you right now, you may praise him the first day and nothing happens. And you may even praise him the second day and nothing happens. But on the third day, according to the word of God, as you begin to praise him, praise God. God, death and every heart of hell has got to let you go. And God said, I'll give it back to you. Let me show you what He said in the Word. God said, do you see what happened? He said they, everything that they had taken, everything they had whipped them, He said, but everything that had happened to them, I gave it back to them. Number one, the first thing He gave back to them is He gave back to them the freedom. I don't know about you, but there's nothing greater than being free in the Lord, than being free in God. Oh, somebody! There's nothing greater than having freedom freedom in the Holy Ghost. Oh, glory be to God. We can run and jump and shout and holler hallelujah and lift our hands and jump around and tell the devil I'm free, hallelujah. I'm not carrying the weight of this world or bondage anymore. Number two, they had to wash their wounds. Glory be to God. You're not hearing this preacher. Y'all looking at me like I just got off the bus. They had to wash their wounds. Don't you know God said, I pour all in their wounds. I am the balm of Gilead. I am the healer of your soul. Praise God. I will pour the oil in your wounds. That still wasn't enough. Next thing you know, come on church, it's right here in front of you. The next thing you know, it says, and we had brought them into his house. He set meat before them. Don't you remember? What God said. I'm going to show you a secret right here about praise. You begin to praise God. Hallelujah. As you begin to praise Him. Come on. As you begin to really lift up your voice and to praise Him for who He is, Evelyn. To praise our God. God said, I'll prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. I'll spread it long and I'll spread it wide and I'll feed you to the fullest. Hallelujah to God. Well, somebody shout fullness in this house. God said, I'll prepare a table before you. And all the powers of hell are sitting there going, how can this thing be? How did they get that? How did they get out of this place? I had them, but now they're set free and they're running loose. Are you set free this morning? Are you free today? If you're free, shake your hand to God and thank Him that you're free this morning. Then everybody around them began to get saved. Revival came. Revival began to break forth. You need revival in your life. I want, I want to tell you something. This is the biggest bunch of crock. All these things you see about written over the church house doors about revival tonight and this. And right. Revival is every day of your life. You can have revival every day with God if you want to have revival. 
You don't have to wait for some Sunday morning, Wednesday night. You can have revival Monday through Sunday. You have revival in your life. There was revival that came forth. And there is revival in your life. If you'll praise the one who made the heavens and the earth. If you'll praise him with all of your heart. And believe him with all of your soul. And you won't ever run in fear. As you begin to praise God. I saw a video the other day on, on this real, on, in, in, I believe out in somewhere, I don't know if it's in California, the Midwest, in a real bad part of town. And this church went down there and they had their whole choir outside. Did you, I don't know if anybody saw that on, on YouTube or not. And I mean to tell you, I'm talking about African American people, man. Them people, got, they got something that we need to get. They were out there in the middle of the streets, and I mean, they were praising God, and there was thousands of people, and you know what the Bible said? I mean, everything stopped. The traffic stopped. The police stopped. The people stopped. Jesus said, as you praise me with your whole heart, He said, I will steal the enemy and the avenger. Hallelujah. And it was proven right there. And I mean, man, they were out there praising God. They were out there singing to the Lord. Let me tell you right now, if you're not ashamed of God, will you lift your hands and say, God, I praise you in this place. I praise you with my whole heart. Paul didn't run anywhere, did he, Brother Bill? He didn't run off in fear or say, hey, the door's open, let's go. He sat there waiting on God and said, God, there's a harvest. This is my next thing. As you begin to praise God, listen, this is the word I've been waiting to tell Jewel and been waiting to tell the whole church. God said, because I'm in the field right now. He said, now's the time to praise Him for the King, He said, is in the field. And God told me to tell the church, and you better hear this preacher while I'm preaching it red hot and off the plate from God today. God said to tell my church, as you begin to praise me and I'm in the field, it will begin to bring in your harvest. This is harvest time. Somebody shout, harvest time. Hallelujah. God went on to tell me. Don't you remember? As they began to praise God, as they began to worship Him, Brother Gary, not only did their chains and shackles fall off, but I mean the earth began to shake. They ain't never seen an earthquake like that earthquake. I mean, I mean it shook everything. It shook all the powers of hell. It shook the very crescents of this world. God said, because I'm in the field, God said, it will cause you, your praise will cause me to stomp my foot. My God, can you imagine His foot? I'm talking about God... Uh, I'm talking about the one who has all power. I'm talking about the one who sits upon the thrones in the heavenly of heavenlies. He said, as you praise me, my God, will you help me preach and raise your hands? God said, as you praise me, he said, as I will, it will cause me to stomp my foot and the earth, he said, will shake underneath you. And he said, in your tormentors that have held you captive, Will you stand with me right now? And your tormentors, he said, your tormentors, he said, that have held you captive. You're not in captivity this morning. I don't care what kind of lie the devil's told you. I don't care what he's tried to bring up. Come on! Hey! You're not in captivity anymore in this house this morning. Will you come and sing that song? Come to the, come to the altar. Come to the altar. And I want to ask you right now. I want to ask you by faith to step out of your seat. Come to this altar right now. I'm, I'm giving an altar. I want to ask you to come to this altar right now. Come as, before we even say. I want to ask you to come to this altar. Everyone that will. Thanks for joining with us for the broadcast from New Beginning Worship Center in Greenback, Tennessee. We are located at 6501 Highway 411 South in Greenback, Tennessee. Zip code 37742. Emails may be addressed to nbwcmailbox at gmail.com. Pastor Marcus Severance and the congregation invite you to join with us Sundays at 10 a.m. for teaching, followed by worship services at 11 a.m. and 6 p.m. We also meet midweek at 7 p.m. on Wednesdays. We're located on Highway 411 in Greenback, Tennessee, just three buildings down from the intersection of Highway 95. If you can't meet with us in person, Please join us again next time for our broadcast.